Greetings everybody, Next Level Reviews here. It's Friday, so I got my new box from Angelic Orchards. Oh, my bad. Some new stuff this week. Okay, got this parsley. I used this to make some uh, chimichurri the other day. It was pretty bomb. I used it all week, putting it on this and that. Burgers and vegetables and stuff. Alright, now we got a napkin. So, I was hesitant to get this fennel, because for one, I don't like the flavor of like licorice. But, I don't know, I want to try new things. And, uh, I've always... I've always found fennel appealing, the way it looks and slices and all that. I just, I don't know about the taste. <laughs> we'll figure something out, though. Look at that. Um, so I got one each tomatoes. This must be an heirloom tomato. Wow, and you can tell it's ripe just by pushing even though it's green on top. I don't know what the, I don't know what kind it is. It's just as heirloom tomato, but it looks fire. Garlic. Now I gotta check, because there's gotta be more than one bulb of garlic, because I'm, I don't remember what I, each box here allotted, allotted like $40 worth of stuff. I gotta see what the price of this garlic was, because if they only sent me one garlic bulb, that's going to be an issue. I always go to choices to get my garlic. Now look at this. These things are getting bigger as the summer goes by. Look at the big boy. Uh, this is like almost baking size, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Like I said, garlic. Okay, for anyone who can't get a vegetable box like this, when you buy garlic... Look for the, the roots here. They don't got to be that long, but there should at least be something there because a lot of garlic that you get, if it's like from China, um, they bleach it to make it whiter. And they also, you can tell because they chop all that off and all this off, so it's just this bulb part because they're trying to save on shipping. But uh, yeah, that garlic, you don't know what kind of water it's growing in. Sometimes it's just garbage water and they bleach the stuff, so... Look at your garlic bottoms to know if it's some decent shit and check where it's from. Nothing against Chinese produce, but I don't want bleach on my garlic. Good zucchini. Um, yeah, it looks like I got uh, a couple of farmer's choices. That's what must be with them zucchinis works. So I don't remember ordering that. Oh my gosh, dude. They gave me a mountain of basil. Basil. Mountain. Man, I can as soon as you open that bag, now my whole kitchen reeks of basil, which ain't necessarily bad. Yeah. Um, gonna have to figure out what to do with that. A lot of these herbs I ended up giving some away. Oh, shoot. That's why I think the box was a little spare. This, they're bare. The choices weren't really what I was looking for, so I ended up getting lots of squash and zucchini. Because look, there's three more zucchinis in here. And three more squash. More of that yellow squash. It's getting bigger though. And okay, about these carrots. These carrots are something else, man. Uh, I've been cooking them this week. And they're some of the best carrots I ever tasted. And I just really hate wasting this top. But I haven't found a good use for it. And it's pretty dirty. I know there's something you can do with them, carrot top sauces and stuff. Wow, we got another tomato here. This is just your everyday red garden tomato, it looks like. Well, it looks like a baby took a bite out of that. But, it's a nice meaty tomato. I don't try not to get that many tomatoes because I got a, tomatoes booming in the garden right now. So, what else? Oh, we got four years of corn. 
I popped this on the grill last night, the corn, uh, with this uh, marinade that I was marinating all my vegetables in, soy sauce, maple syrup, uh, sambal, which is like a chili paste, um, sesame oil. I was just brushing that on the on the corn. Yeah, I took the peel off. I was just brushing that on the corn, and man, it was it was good. Big old cucumber. So, wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at the price of that garlic, how much it costs me each box, because that's a little... If you're only giving me one bulb of garlic, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check that out, but so far, it looks pretty good. I'm excited about the fennel, and I'm excited about the basil and the herbs, and definitely these carrots, and this guy... I don't know what to do with them. Bottom is dirty, but what do you what do you do with tomato heirloom tomatoes? Slice them on bread with butter. I got some fire ass bread. I might do a review on it, so I don't want to show you yet. But this bread I get it's from a James Beard Award winning baker, and uh, it's pretty good. Anyway, looks like that's the box. That's the box this week. So, pretty good. Um, that's going to be it for now. Cat wants him. Come on, boy. Come on. Harley. All right, now I just seen a fly come in. All right. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. That's the vegetable box this week. I'll see you next Friday for another uh, vegetable box opening. Thanks for tuning in.